Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So who doesn't like energy effects? In this video, we're gonna talk about how we can create some awesome energy effects to reveal on our logo or titles. Now, this is gonna be a great tutorial if you want to impress your client, wanna impress your boss, or even your mom. So if you don't wanna impress any of those people, I don't know why you're watching this video. But for those of you that wanna learn how to do this effect, it's really easy to do. We're gonna use a free plugin in this video uh, and it's gonna be very easy to follow along with. I'm gonna keep it simple. And you're gonna be able to create some really awesome energy-based effects for your title or logo. Let's jump into the video, let's get started. All right, so this is gonna be an extremely uninteresting tutorial. We're not gonna do anything cool in this video, nothing. Okay, we're gonna create some really awesome things. So we're gonna jump over to our tutorial composition and all we have in here is our logo layer. And we also just have a title. I'm going to show you how you can do this to both a title and a logo. So first we'll talk about doing this with a title because if you want to, you know, to do a reveal with a title, it's really easy to do this. So all you have to do with a title is right click it, go to create and click on create mask from text and you get its own separate layer. That's fine. Okay. So just showing you how you can do that with a title. Now if a logo is a little bit different. So you want to make sure you have a PNG file or, you know, obviously something that has a transparent background. I'm using the Illustrator file here, which is also optimal. But if assuming that you have a PNG file, what we're going to do is go to Layer, uh, Auto Trace. And from here, you want to keep this, you know, as simple as possible. Tolerance should be at one and just copy my settings and click OK. And now we get the mask outline of our logo and that's great. So whether you're using a title or a logo, the methods from here are exactly the same. So I'm going to continue to do this to logo. So what we're going to do is go to effect video copilot and grab saber. Now, if you don't have saber, I'll forgive you if you don't have it because you, either you're probably just starting out, but if you've been using after effects for a long time, and you don't have saber, uh, huh? I won't tell on you, but go download it. So once you have Saber installed, which of course it's free by the way, what we're going to want to do is come here to customize core and where it says core type, you're going to set this to uh, layer mask. Okay. So now we get this blob of glowiness here. So what we'll do here is come here to end offset and we can just bring this down to like, you know, 30%. And if the masks are annoying, just click on this mask icon down here. And, uh, and nice, now we can actually see our logo and that's great. Now we'll come back here, here to presets and we can change this to whatever we want. So if you want it to be more of a fiery type logo, you can do that. Uh, you know, you have a ton of amazing presets that we don't actually need to go ahead and create our own style because you can just filter through a handful of these to find what you want to do. So maybe just electric is fine. I can change the glow color here, you know, grab whatever color I want. All we have to do here is now animate this so the first thing we're gonna do is bring down the end offset down to zero percent okay then we're gonna add a keyframe for start offset we're gonna move forward i don't know maybe by a second or so and we'll increase this to maybe 30 percent and then right at the end of our start offset we'll add a keyframe for end offset and we'll move forward and we'll set this number to the exact same size as the start offset and it'll be gone. So now we'll get this animation here and it's just gonna do a small outline of our logo. Not a noticeable logo, but it's just a start. So I wanna point out that this is static and I want this to be animating around our entire logo. So one thing I wanna do here since we're gonna create variations is I'm gonna come here to max evolution and I'm not gonna keyframe it. I'm gonna all click the stopwatch and down here I'm gonna type in time asterisk just 100. So that means it's gonna animate by 100 points every second. And let's come here to render settings and let's set this to transparent. Now that looks really awesome and our logo animation is now coming together. Congratulations, you just got a promotion. Okay, let's actually make sure that you can hold on to that promotion by finishing up the effect. So what we can do here, what I like to do personally, is instead of just duplicating the saber effect here and redoing it, I actually like to duplicate our layer. So we'll go up to edit, duplicate and now we have a second saber to work with. We can come into preset and we can change this to whatever. So maybe meteor, we can give it a look. Eh, that's a little bit too much. Let's go like proton. Yeah, you know, that's a safe bet. But as you can see, it's covering up our previous animation. So we can come here to blend mode. If you don't see that toggle switch the modes, set the blend mode to screen. And now we can see the previous one. Now, the only problem here is overlapping. Even though that looks cool, it's overlapping. So. That's why we did the max evolution expression. So just hit uh, UU twice on your keyboard, so the W, and you go to that expression, 
and we'll type in plus 200. So now here's our animation, both these lined up together and I guess you get to keep that promotion but that doesn't mean the client's going to like this because it's not done. So let's go ahead and maybe add a third one just for fun and you know you can change the blend modes to whatever you like. I really like setting this to add or screen, it just looks really nice and once again we'll come here and we'll duplicate this layer and we'll go back to that expression and we'll do like plus 400 this time. All right, and we'll come here. Maybe we'll do like something fiery. Uh, there's a lot of fire ones. Maybe torch is a good one. I'll just set it to fire to play it safe. So what we can do here is perhaps set our start offset to maybe like 50%. So maybe it'll be on a bigger portion. And then we'll go to the end offset as well and set that back to 50%. All right, awesome. And if we want, we can always just offset the top layer in time so they're not on at the same time or anything like that. So now all we have to do is reveal on the logo and it's really easy to do this. So what we'll do here is we'll grab our logo layer and go up to edit duplicate and we'll just come here to our bottom layer. We'll delete the saber effect. Amazing. So, you know, right at the halfway mark, let's go ahead and bring our logo on and we'll do something very simple. Hit here and keyboard for opacity, add a keyframe for it. And we'll bring this keyframe forward in time to maybe like a second forward and set the opacity down 0%. And then make sure all the blend modes are set to like at least add. And I'm bringing down the core size of our fire just by like maybe the two or so. So it's not as huge. So, all right. So now that we have our animation here and our logo revealed on by our energy or saber effect, we need to be able to put the scene together because by itself, it's just, you know, it looks great, but you know, we need an entire mood. We need an atmosphere. So let's go ahead and do that. And before we move on, I want to give a huge shout out to the best templates for after effects. So if you're looking to save a tremendous amount of time and produce high quality work, I highly recommend taking a look at my favorite After Effects and Premiere Pro templates. It's all here on one page, which I will drop this link in the video description below. And these templates range from transitions to animation presets, motion graphic templates, to titles, and tons of other amazing assets. So if you want to check out some of the best After Effects and Premiere Pro projects, that link will be in the description. So what we're going to do here is grab everything, go to Layer, Pre-Compose, and we can call this Logo or Title. Doesn't matter. Okay, so first thing I want to do is create a floor-based reflection. So first thing we're going to need is we're going to need some sort of texture. So you can go to, you know, you know, search for like a sort of textured based background. It could just be very plain, but you know, just something easy to be for a floor. And we'll bring this layer into our timeline and we'll toggle switch the modes until we can make this a 3D layer and we'll hit R on our keyboard for rotation and we'll set the X rotation to 90 degrees and we'll hit P on our keyboard for position and we'll bring down the Y value here. And we'll hit S and keyboard for scale and we'll scale this so it's nice and big. All right. And then what we'll do is pre-compose this layer by going up to layer pre-compose and we'll call it floor. Move all attributes into new composition. Click OK. And then what we're going to do here is grab our logo layer and we'll actually scale it down real quick. It's a little big. We kind of want to keep that off our floor. And we'll duplicate this and we'll go to a layer transform flip horizontal. And we'll put this down here, you know, right below our floor. Awesome. And then we'll bring this layer underneath our original logo. And then let's go to layer, new adjustment layer. And we'll call this blur. Bring this layer underneath our main logo there. Then go to effect, blur and sharpening, and we're going to grab compound blur. And set the blur layer to your floor layer. Awesome. And then check on invert blur. And you can play with the maximum blur as you see fit. But we're going to start to get this floor here. Now, what we need to do is go back into our original floor layer. Select your background or whatever texture you use. Go to color correction and grab curves. And we need to darken this down. Awesome. Now we're getting this nice reflection on our scene. And if you're working with titles, the floor is going to be more reflective because you're going across further. So it's just really, you know, going to depend on how much reflection is you're going to have. And, you know, if you want to manipulate this a little bit more, we can just hit S on our, on our logo layer, break the chain and just you know, increase the X size, you know, it's not really a subtle thing to do, but you know, if you really want to maximize it for like a logo like this, uh, you'll have that option to do so. So I want to add a little bit more atmosphere here with this, uh, light beam and you can get this light beam pack for free off of premiumbeat.com. I'll link it in the description. Um, but I highly suggest you download these once again, they're free 
and it comes with like 14 or 15 of them but i'll bring this layer into our composition and i'll just make sure that's scaled in there right and toggle switch the modes and set the one mode to like screen you know and, and and with the right curves effect i can make this look really nice so be sure to download that pack and experiment with the different light beams really easy to do that just to help you enhance your compositions really quick and i want to put my finishing touches on this by scaling us in and also adding a cool adjustment so go up to layer new adjustment layer and we'll go to effect noise and grain and we're gonna grab noise and we'll set the noise to like seven percent maybe eight uncheck use color noise and this will add a nice texture of grain in there so everything is not static looks really nice um, and then we'll go to effect color correction curves and we'll make a s curve with our rgb and i'll make things pop a little bit and you can come here to like the red channel you know bring this down if you want to make it more tealy but also keep in mind that you're going to be changing the logo color as well so just keep that in mind and then let's go to effect distort and let's grab optics compensation and we'll come here to the beginning of our timeline and we'll increase the field of view to like 80 and then check on reverse lens distortion add a keyframe for field of view go to the end of your animation we'll just say five seconds and we'll set this down to like 20 and maybe we'll actually set it up to like 100. So with our current effects applied, here's what we have and things look really nice. I also want to just add one more thing to this. Go to layer, new, null object. Let's parent everything to the null object. And we'll come to the beginning of our timeline. We'll hit S and keyboard for scale, add a keyframe for that. Move forward to the end of our animation. We'll set this to like 110 or so. And then we'll have a little bit of a nice zoom in animation. So now everything has come together. You have gotten a promotion. You've impressed your client and you finished this awesome logo animation. So what's next? I guess you can subscribe to the channel and watch more of our tutorials. That's a good idea. So that concludes our tutorial on creating energy effects for our titles or logos. Instead of After Effects, I hope this tutorial has been insightful. And if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description. And always, be creating.